Oh, right. Yes. Shalom, please come in. May I take your coat? Good, very good. My son painted it. He's talented. He's autistic. Yes, I know. You know? Qualitative PDD impairment, pervasive developmental disorder, in verbal communication, with islands of ability. How? What? Have you investigated me or something? I had a feeling you're from the security services. Oh, no, I'm not from the security services. Or at the Mossad? Which Mossad? The Mossad. No, no, no. The Air Force? Getting warmer. <laughs> Do I sit or lie down? What are the rules? This is my first time. With me, people usually sit, but if you want, you can. So, who have you talked to about me? Does that bother you? Honestly, yes. Why, do you have something to hide? No, it's just that I can understand someone wanting recommendations for a psychologist, but I prefer to keep my private life outside this room. And why do I suddenly feel that I'm under investigation? It's a nice room. The garden and the entrance, too. I was very impressed. Thank you. Now, let's start at the beginning. I'm Ella. Ella? After the Hebrew name of the tree, not the Hebrew goddess. Ah. And you? Me? What's your name? I am who I am. That's obvious, but you must have a name. You can continue calling me G. Listen, if you're worried about publicity, I can assure you of complete confidentiality. I've got some well-known patients, and they know that all their secrets remain in this room. Oh, the name is immaterial. Call me whatever you like. You just choose a name, and I'll answer to it. No problem. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Do you want to tell me how old you are? 5,775. Next week. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, sometimes I feel that way, too. So, what do you do? What's your profession? You can write artist. Is that why you didn't want to give me your name? You're well known? Pretty well known. I'm sorry. I don't see an awful lot of television. Most of the time I watch Shrek. Oh, that's all right. Creative or performing artist? Both. In what sphere? Painting, writing, music? In all spheres. Ah, multi. Yes, multi. Interesting. Yes, interesting. <laughs> so, what happened? What brought you to me? On the phone, I heard a kind of distress. If it's difficult for you, we can begin with something else. Would you like to begin by telling me something about yourself or about your parents? My parents? Your parents. You know, sometimes it's easier to start from the parents. For instance, what kind of father did you have? I didn't. He died. He never existed. I see. So you were raised just by your mother? <laughs> There's no mother. No mother? No mother. From what age? From time immemorial. An orphan from birth? An orphan from birth. Were you ever in therapy? No, no, no. You could have saved yourself so many years of suffering. Never mind. It's better late than never. It may already be too late. It's never too late to make a change. Oh, you're optimistic. Always. I know. What else do you know about me? I know everything. Everything? Everything. By what right? How? What? Have I been under surveillance? <laughs> How long have I been under surveillance? Calm down, you're not under surveillance. Oh, look, I feel very uncomfortable with what's going on here. I don't think I can treat you. What, you're just dropping me? It seems to me that it won't work. You see, the starting point where you have already investigated me makes me feel very uncomfortable. 
I have to be honest with you. I'm not coming into this dialogue clean, and that's a very unpromising start for therapy. I will be happy to recommend somebody. No, no, wait, just a moment, please. Just listen to me. That's all I ask. I've got to talk to someone, or something terrible will happen. What do you mean, something terrible? Something extremely terrible. Okay, I'm listening. Thank you. On condition that you tell me the truth. Whatever you want to know. For instance, who are you? I can't tell you who I am. <laughs> Perhaps you don't want to tell me. No, I can't. Why not? Because you won't believe me. Try me. I'm God. I see. <laughs> How long have you felt like this? Like what? Like God. I don't feel like God. Thank the Lord, for a moment I thought you I said... am God. Uh-huh. Hey, look, I would very much like to treat you truly. I sense that you're in serious distress. You have no idea. But with all the will in the world, I don't think I'm the right person to treat you. I'm a psychologist, not a psychiatrist. I'm not licensed to prescribe medication. I'm not interested in medication. I'm not a big believer in pills either, but in your case, I'd consider trying it. I'll get you the name of a good psychiatrist. No, no psychiatrist. You don't have to be scared of a psychiatrist. He won't bite. He'll help no. you. No. It doesn't mean that you're mad or anything. If that's what's bothering you, you really aren't alone. There are lots of cases like this. You wouldn't believe how many. You've got a problem. It's very common today. It's called... No, it's either you or nobody. No, 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 no. No, listen. With all due respect to your research, you've made a basic mistake. I specialize mainly in treating children with learning disabilities. I've got no experience in treating what you're suffering from. I'm liable to harm you. This is Dr. Yoval's number. I'll call him no, now. No, no, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Please don't make me do things I don't want to. Okay, calm down. First, calm down. I'm putting the phone down. See? Miriam! Let her be silence. I'm sorry, I don't often do this stuff, but you left me no choice. I don't have much time, and I've got to talk to someone. All I want, all I ask is one hour of your time, that's all. I'll pay like everyone else, and afterwards you'll never see me again. What do you say? I'll free you if you promise not to shout. Is everything all right? Honey, is anything wrong? Go back into the living room, sweetie. Miriam's calling you. I'll be through here soon. Go. Sweetie, I'll be right there. I'll finish up even earlier than I said I would. Now, you listen good. I don't know what that was. I don't want to know. I want you to leave right now. This thing is not for me, understand? Well, you're j giving up on a patient just because he's a little unusual? Where's your psychologist oath? There's no such thing as a psychologist's oath. There isn't? No, so please. Wait, I want to understand. You see someone in distress and you throw him out just because he's God? You're not God, sir. Maybe you know a couple of magic tricks, nothing we haven't seen on TV, by the way. But you're not God. There is no God. Look around you. Do you think there's God? You know there is. Me? I'm sorry, sir. I told you at the outset there's something screwed up in your research. Look at me. I'm secular. I eat creepy crawlies with a cheese topping. <laughs> I don't believe in God. You don't believe in God? I'm sorry! Then who have you been talking to every day for the past 40 years? Excuse me? You don't go to sleep without the daily reprimand. What was it yesterday? Let me think. Ah, yes. It was about the rain. You've been a bit of a nag about rain recently. <laughs> what is this? What are you, a mind reader? What's going on? I don't understand. I'll never forget that first night. You were four. It was late at night. Your parents thought you were asleep and they talked about you. Your father told your mother that you were stupid. There's nothing to be done. The child's dumb. She came out dumb. It happens. He was angry because you refused to stand up on a chair and recite the Manishtana at the Passover Seder. And that same night, 
You told me that you no longer believed in me because you don't pity little children. And it's a fact that you killed all the babies born in Egypt just to make Pharaoh mad. That's all you remembered from the whole Agadah, the poor Egyptian babies. What have you got to say about that? I'm sorry, I don't remember what happened when I was four. And I'm sure that lots of four-year-old girls say the same thing after the Seder. And at 34? I'm sure you remember your 34th birthday. Should I refresh your memory? No! Then you know what I'm talking about. Stop it! Stop it! What is this? What's the matter? You're as white as a sheet. Sit down. Are you all right? What's happening here? Then you admit speaking to me? I was talking to an imaginary figure. Sometimes reality and imagination deceive us. Huh? I didn't really believe for a minute there was somebody there. Oh, you never doubted my existence. I didn't doubt it. You didn't doubt it. And how I doubted it. And how can you be so angry at someone who doesn't exist? To try and educate someone who doesn't exist. I didn't seriously believe for even one second that somebody... Heard? Oh, I heard. Every word, every doubt, every rebuke, every question. You didn't stop reproaching me, but you made me laugh, too. And there was only one thing you didn't do. You never asked me for anything. You see, that's because I didn't really believe there was somebody there. Because you didn't trust me to deliver the goods. What was it you always said when you were really upset with me? There are only two possibilities. Either there is no God, or if there is, I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. I didn't say dark alley. I said I wouldn't want to know him. You said dark alley. What? This is crazy. What is? What's happening here? Am I hallucinating or what? I'm clinically dead and this is my hallucination. Because I can't afford to die right now? You're not dead, and you're not hallucinating. Then what is this? Am I being filmed? <laughs> what? Ella! What? Look at me. I can't. It's me. No. Yes. Oh, my God. Here I am. <laughs> What? Who designed your costume? I tried to look like that picture. I saw that you were hooked on it. How many times have you had it framed this year? Sixteen? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's just, it's not, 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 not. It's not, not what? Not, but logical! Oh, and except for this, everything is logical, right? Wherever you look, only pure logic, right? Still? Still what? You're all prepared to believe the biggest nonsense and not believe the most self-evident thing there is. Your whole body starts trembling when you see a black cat. And you get a severe anxiety attack when a mirror breaks. Have you ever seen the digestive system from the inside? <laughs> Who do you think planned that long and torturous track that starts at the mouth and ends at the you-know-what? Have you ever tried to fold seven and a half meters into a belly the size of half a shoebox? <laughs> How does the pancreas, which is just this big, know precisely when to secrete the enzymes that break down the fats that you consume in com commercial quantities? And who do you think thought up the duodenum? First of all, don't talk to me in the plural. I don't know who you all are. I don't believe in anything anymore. No? You believe that one day your son will say the word mama even though he's already 17 and has never said a single word. And even though all the specialists have told you that there's no chance he will ever say the word mama and or any other word, but you go on believing. You believe that one day your husband will come back to you, even though he's already remarried and has new healthy children, and you know you will never have any more healthy children because no man in his right mind would get into bed with you with an autistic child. 
and yet you go on believing. What? Now you've convinced me. This cruelty is familiar. It's you. There's no doubt. Only God could be so inhuman. I've hurt you. It's all right. I'm used to it. So, what do you want of me? What anyone who comes to you wants. Psychological treatment. You don't seriously think that I can treat you? Why not? Because you're... <coughs> because I haven't got the training to treat you. I haven't been to any extension courses on how to treat a divine patient or anything like that. But well, it's always a first time. But why have you come to me? There are so many let's psychologists. Start, let's start with the fact that you're not one of my biggest fans. I didn't know that... No, no, please don't apologize. I want you to continue relating to me just as you have till now. There's a vast difference between talking at night with an imaginary figure and treating God. Therapy is therapy. What's the difference? What's the difference? Let's start with the fact that you didn't have a mother. So? So, who can we blame for everything you <laughs> What's the problem? Do I frighten you? No. Well, maybe a bit. I promise I won't harm a hair on your head. We've heard all about your promises. The wolf and the lamb have been waiting 2,000 years for that apartment you promised them. I swear to you. On who? On who will you swear to me? All right. What? I tried. At least nobody can say I didn't try. Where are you going? No, I won't trouble you any further. Stop! Wait a minute! No, there's no point. It won't work. You were right. Coming here was a mistake. No, 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 no. You didn't make a mistake. If you came, evidently you felt a need. It was a moment of weakness, and it's passed. <laughs> Don't go! Please! All right. <laughs> That was a cheap shot. But it worked. <laughs> All right. 